We're back in another episode of Along for the Drive. No, Along for the Ride. This is Along for the Ride. We're not driving. We're just riding. Let's try that again. Hey YouTube, welcome back to Along for the Ride. We're back at the deck site here. We're gonna start putting some decking on today. Finish up getting rid of this old stuff here and uh, lay the decking on a 45. So we got a bunch of different material behind me here. Different lengths to hopefully uh, minimize waste. Did an AutoCAD drawing to figure out what we needed. So we've got some various lengths here to hopefully minimize some of the waste. And we're going to go ahead and lay it on a 45. Not real thrilled about using two by six material, but it worked pretty good at the last deck. And that way it'll match the old one without having to replace the decking on the further one. And the client seems to be happy with that. So cost is in their budget and not getting too crazy. So we'll go from there. So stay tuned. We're gonna throw on a time-lapse here and see how it goes. They certainly don't make nails like that anymore. That's a heavy duty spiral nail. Hold power is crazy. So that gets rid of that. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna sister those old pieces on here to help hold the edge of the angled deck board coming across. So it's got something to lay on because we're gonna replace this two by six right along straight out to the end. Probably put a piece of two by eight out this end just so we've got it resting on that beam. Frame that up. But yeah, there's some serious nailage right there. Okay, so we're ready with this piece now. We got our sister pieces on here to hold up the edge of our angled pieces. But now that I'm looking down this line, this isn't looking too clean. I'm gonna clean that up. So we're gonna snap a chalk line here, trim off these old boards so that this guy fits nice and tight. And then we'll trim this guy off. I think we're gonna bring it to the end here because this deck is 22 feet long and it'll just allow us to create two frames on the outside. This will be our breaking piece. You'll see the end green, but that's okay. You'll see the end green in different spots anyways, but it'll just clean up what's going on there. So I just cut this piece of two by six off, 45. You got a pencil mark here on the joist as to where it has to go. And when I set it there, move down to this end, it lines up really nice. I'm just gonna bust that up with the sander a bit, take the edge off it to 90 degree. And that's our first piece. We're gonna leave them long. We'll cut them off at the end. That's a 14 footer, so I got enough. I'm glad I went with 14 and not 16s. So we'll run a bunch of 14s out to that end there and stop. And then we'll switch to 12s. Let's see how that goes. So the line out here is turning out pretty well. Just about done, got a few more boards to do here. And the line against the house looks pretty nice as well. So I like just taking the sander to it and buffing up the edges. Gets rid of that sharp 90 degree. That gives it a little bit more clean look. I don't like working with two by six, that's for sure. And I'm really not sure I wanna cut this back off so that it I think I want to allow for an aluminum railing because I think once they see this, they may want to switch the railing up. There's not a lot of railing here to sort of save. Um, and I'm not sure if I can get those spindles that length anymore. So that's what I got to figure out as well. But I think I'm just going to leave things long. They're home on Sunday. Today is Friday. And they can take a look and we can chat railing. So that's what I know. We're going to finish it up here and call it a day. Well, there's the end of day two. Got most of the decking laid trying to cut it off to use the off cuts and uh, I was gonna finish cutting it, but I ran out of power. And literally ran out of power. Even that outlet on the outside of the house is dead, so I couldn't charge my battery. So I guess that's the end of day two, right there. We still gotta figure out this corner, but I think that's a good time to stop because I think if they see it, we might be able to convince them about a different railing. So good time there, got it all laid. Just some small pieces left to go and we're uh, all set figuring out railing when they get back on Sunday. Well, there you have it, end of day two. Thanks for tuning in on Along for the Ride. And as always, this is Greg Sinti saying see ya and enjoy the weather.